incredible performance from Kyron Pollard on his Somerset debut, including one of the biggest hits ever seen at Lord's, took the visitors home to a comfortable five-wicket win in their latest French Provident T20 match. Middlesex won the toss and batted, and after Adam Gilchrist played out a maiden from Ben Phillips, Scott Newman got the innings moving. Gilchrist was then caught and bowled by Phillips for a duck before Neil Dexter, promoted to number three, struck the first maximum of the evening. And there are a lot more to follow. Dexter has been in impressive form since recovering from a spine injury and he was in the mood to get his side off to a good start in spite of the early loss of their Australian star. With Newman also looking to make the most of the fielding restrictions in the power play overs, it appeared that the home side was set for a big score on a slowish pitch which had been used for the recent four-day championship match. Dexter struck another big blow as he and Newman took the total to 45 by the end of those power play overs. Peter Trigo, though, broke through with Dexter miscuing to Marcus Truscothic after he bludgeoned 29 off 18 deliveries. Pollard was introduced into the attack and was pulled for the fourth sixth of the innings, this time by Newman. Pollard, though, got his revenge as the opener sliced a drive and was caught in the deep by the capable Joss Butler as Middlesex reached the halfway point with a score of 72 for three. O.A. Shah was joined by Owen Morgan in his first game for Middlesex this summer. Shah tucked into the leg spin of Max Waller, while Morgan was quickly into his stride as he was cheered on by another good T20 crowd at Lords. Morgan was treating them too, with the kind of shots that he's made a reputation from. Pollard was beginning to have an influence on the game and had Shah caught by Alfonso Thomas for 24 at 121 for four. Gareth Burr came in and kept up the momentum, but his innings was short-lived as he was bowled by Thomas for seven. Pollard then struck for a third time to remove David Milan for eight as Middlesex just began to lose their way a little at 138 for five with seven balls of the innings left. Morgan, though, batted superbly, this being the pick of his shots as he finished the innings unbeaten on 48 off 30 deliveries as his side made 155 for six from their 20 overs, a challenging score. Somerset got off to a terrible start when Craig Keyswetter tried to hit Tim Murta into central London, but sent the ball flying high above his head with Gilchrist completing the catch. Truscothic soon put the loss of that early wicket behind him with an exquisite shot over extra cover for his side's first maximum. Truscothic likes playing at Lords and he was looking in fine touch here. It took a lack of communication between him and James Hilton to see the back of him. With Truscothic well out of his ground, Murta took aim and hit the stumps to see the back of the Somerset skipper for 20 of 15 balls. Butler didn't last long as he tried to scoop a slower ball from Collins over short fine leg but missed and was bowled for one, leaving Somerset in real trouble at 29 for three in the fifth over. Enter Pollard, although before he got going, Hildreth cut Murta straight into the hands of Tom Smith at square cover and was gone for five. It looked as if it was going to be Middlesex's day with Somerset on 31 for four at the end of the power play but Pollard saw things differently. He hit Smith's first ball for six, and then did the same to his third delivery. But this was the shot which astounded many people at the ground, including the bowler, Sean Udall. Albert Trott is famous for clearing the famous pavilion with a massive hit back in 1899, but many were saying after the match that this shot from Pollard was the biggest ever at the famous ground. Had it not hit a lift shaft built some time after Trott's moment of fame, it would have flown over the pavilion. Inspired by that, Trigo started smashing the ball too, but not even he could take any of the shine away from Pollard's incredible knock. A sixth six carried him to his 50. It had taken him only 25 balls and had completely changed the complexion of the match. It wasn't one yet, however, as Trigo was run out, rather giving his wicket away to keep Pollard at the crease. But by now, only 57 runs were needed in 50 deliveries. Pollard was now joined by Xander Debrain, a very handy player to have coming in at number seven. And before too long, he and his new teammate had pretty much ruined Middlesex's day. Boundaries were coming thick and fast as both looked in a hurry to get the job done to earn last year's beaten T20 finalists their first win in this season's elongated campaign. 
Poir decided he'd finish things off in style. He struck his seventh maximum and then added his seventh four to win the match with 13 balls to spare. He will certainly add a few onto the gates at any ground he plays at now after finishing on 89 not out from only 45 deliveries. Middlesex may feel a little hard done by to come across a man in such fantastic form. Without Pollard's superb innings, they would have probably won. They will now welcome another of the game's big hitters in David Warner for their next match against Essex on Sunday as they look to kickstart their friends' prominent T20 campaign.